بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم my name is Asad Yaqub and now we go ahead I am your IELTS coach rather I am your personal IELTS coach and I am going to guide you about IELTS reading module so let's take a start well uh, in reading module the question type which we are going to discuss that is yes no not given okay yes no not given this is what we are going to discuss and I'm going to give you some tips why uh, am I calling you my personal IELTS coach because I'm going to give you some tips and I'm going to be with you like I'll take you by finger and I'll walk along with you so that you could not feel any problem or you don't face any problem in IELTS reading okay let's see the questions uh, I'll show you the questions first the question type is yes no not given and the question is the destruction of land for food and firewood is linked to desertification now remember one thing whenever there is true false not given or yes no not given over here in the statement you have to underline some clue words right sometimes the clue words will be very very clear sometimes they will use the similar words in the passage so clue words will help you reach the portion where the answer is going to be now let's see the destruction of land for food and firewood now underline food firewood they might use some other words but you need to keep in mind food and firewood is linked to desertification if because of food and firewood they are chopping down the trees that means it's leading towards desertification if they are mentioning this thing then it is true if they say that's not the reason then it is false and if they don't mention this very phenomena then it is not given so let's scan food and firewood I've done this test already so that's why I know where the answer is let's just go there now you can see that as well it's written here uh, food and firewood yes I, f I found it I I'm gonna read from here green fields are turned into airports virgin forest is stripped now mind this virgin forest is strip strip means desertification or deforestation we also call it uh, is stripped to provide food and firewood that's right to provide food and firewood actually they are chopping down the trees and what are they doing they are stripping the forests so that's why this statement the destruction of land for food and firewood is linked to desertification or desertification that is yes clear okay let's go ahead we do question number 10 shortage of space has also led to underground building construction now shortage of space underground building construction you got to keep in mind the word shortage of space scarce space and underground building construction that is what we call basement it can be basement or something like that so let's see where the answer is now the clue word here is underground basement underground basement underground okay right so you got to scan for that and when you scan for underground you can find it there I'm going to show it to you it's written here there has also been a tradition for building underground now you got to see shortage of space has also led to underground building construction is it yes or no or not given and here the examiner is checking your ability to understand writers views or claims I repeat in yes no not given they check your ability to understand writers views or claims so here he says there has also been a tradition for building underground not just for transport systems but for the storage of waste uh, depositors for books so what is it here they say shortage of space has also led to underground building construction yes there has also been a tradition of building underground not just for transport system and all that stuff so this is going to be yes because the writer has mentioned that there is a tradition of building underground and if you look at the beginning of the paragraph there you will understand that they are talking about uh, uh, shortage of space so this whole paragraph this whole passage is about shortage of space so question number 10 is yes number 11 the building of the airport in Japan cost much now the clue word is Japan and airport now you got to see whether the building of the airport in Japan cost much more than that of the housing complex in Dubai 
Is it yes, no, not given that building an airport in Japan cost much more than that of housing complex in Dubai? Now you got to just look for three words, Dubai, Japan and uh, airport. Okay. Yes, I found it. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. It's there. Uh, it's written in Japan. Kansai International Airport has been built offshore on a man-made island at vast expense and in Dubai a very imaginative and expensive housing complex in the shape of a palm tree is being built just off the coast of land. They've mentioned two separate things. One is airport in Japan and second is a housing complex in Dubai but they don't say anything which cost more which cost less that is why it's not given clear okay let's go ahead number 12 Arthur C Clarke was the only person to predict that mankind will inhabit other parts of the solar system now the clue word is Arthur C. Clarke and you got to see whether this statement is given by only Arthur C. Clarke and there were some other people or there were some other people as well who said the same thing. Now let's let's look for Arthur C. Clarke. Okay. Yes, I found it. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Yes, here. Arthur C. Clarke, a fervent supporter of Savage, now argues that by the year 2057, there will be humans on the moon. Mars, Europa, uh, Ganymede, Titan, and in orbit around Venus, Neptune, and Pluto. Feynman Dyson favors the Kuiper belt as the future home of humanity. Now we've got Arthur C. Clarke. At the same time, there is another guy who said something relevant to that. So that is why it is no. The statement is Arthur C. Clarke was the only person. Whenever they use the word the only, it means there are certain doubts about that. So there is another guy who said the same thing. That is why it is no. Now we do the last one. The last one is the concept of the habitation of outer space by mankind is unimaginable. The statement is the concept of habitation of outer space by mankind is unimaginable. Means we can't even imagine that. Now you got to see habitation, space, outer space, planets and all that. And if you want to find the answer, I found this word habitation. You need to scan for the word habitation. I found it in paragraph E. Please watch carefully. Habitation in outer space. So obvious. Habitation in outer space in huge stations is no longer just a dream. No longer just a dream means the concept of habitation of outer space by mankind is unimaginable. No, it is imaginable. That's why this statement is going to be no. Okay, so I hope you would have understood how to deal with the question type yes, no, not given. If there are certain confusions, please watch this video once again and you're going to be fine with that. If you like this video, please hit on the like button below. And if you have any question or you want to give your comment about this video, please write your comment. I'll be glad to read your comment. And you can also subscribe my channel so that whenever I upload a new video, you get the notification of that. I teach IELTS online. If you want to get my online classes, online coaching from Asad Yaqub, I can do that as well. My WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me. And I have prepared an IELTS kit. That is basically easy IELTS kit that can help you prepare for IELTS. There are the videos and the books. There are eight videos, DVDs, and there are four books along with that. If you want to get the IELTS course kit, you can contact me for that as well. I wish you all the best and good luck with your IELTS. Take care.